The hot water heater had to be replaced. They took the also took the dryer away. The the, the washer is going to be replaced too. We had to do all that. The water is gone, but Robert Cowley is still picking up the pieces after the mess Mother Nature left behind. Upstairs, I ha it's like I still have civilization. Downstairs, not so much. Some possessions piled high, others outside tossed in the trash. So far, he's paid about fifty-five hundred dollars, and he is not done yet. I had to have. Uh, blowers put in dryers to dry to make sure they cut off about 12 to 18 inches of drywall and you know put microbial spray in there to keep mold from forming. David Deaver is among the crews at J.A. Kilby working overtime. He says get the water out, dry out the area, spray solution to keep the mold away. After 72 hours if the proper equipment's not moved in there to dry out the basement and get the moisture out of the drywall and wood surfaces uh, mold will start to grow after 72 hours. And the drywall may need to be cut out and replaced, but that's not all. More on your side advice that you might not have heard before with your furnace. Make sure that the filter's been changed because a lot of times those will seep water right up through them and then it will not pass air through the filter. Uh, and then to make sure the circuitry of it wasn't damaged. And your hot water tank. So a lot of people think you should just relight your water heater. Water gets trapped in that burner. It can damage the con gas control valve. That's a safety issue. For Robert Cowie, the worst may be behind him, but it is not over yet. The step-by-step -step project is to get uh, someone, in fact, someone's coming out today to think about putting drywall in. So then I get the drywall in. Then the next thing is, you know, thinking about uh, painting and then linoleum and carpeting and things of that sort.